여러분 안녕하세요 오늘은 좀 특별하게 어, 미막 관련된 영상을 찍어볼 건데요 오늘 제 친구 재영이가 같이 해주기로 했어요 So I'm a home student and he's an international student So do you want to introduce yourself? Where are you from? etc. Hi my name is Jeyoung um, I'm Korean but I was born and raised in Malaysia uh, yeah. And we're both first year medic students yes. 이 영상은 되게 콩글리쉬 되게 많이 있을 것 같은데 네. I feel like we'll speak in English Yeah, right, yeah. yeah. So this okay. video will be in English but I'll try and add sufficient subtitles at the bottom for um, Korean people <laughs> Okay, so I've got a list of questions here and we're just going to go through it and yeah So the first one is, what is the BMAT? So do you just want to explain what the BMAT is in general? Uh, the BMAT stands for what the biomedical admissions test. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so there there are two types of medical tests, medical admissions tests, right? And then it's the BMAT and the UCAT. Mm -hmm. So universities like Imperial, uh, like Oxford, Cambridge, uh, UCL, they look at the BMAT, um, whereas um, other universities look at UCAT. Um, yeah, so the main difference between the two is that the BMAT is a two-hour um, pen, pen and paper test and it's three sections, whereas UKCAT is a computer-based exam. Uh, let's just go through like, the different sections. The first section is aptitude and skills, and so this basically just tests you on your problem-solving skills, which, will, which you will need for like, university studies. And the section two is. Uh, it's like the science and math section. Yeah. So um, it consists of what uh, biology, chemistry, and physics as well, and math too. Yeah. So how did you prepare for it? For me, um, the I think the official site has a or this online book that gives you all the specifications. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Specifications. Yeah, yeah, I think. Yeah. yeah so mm -hmm. for both for all um, biology, math, chemistry, biology, math, chemistry, and physics. So I just looked at that and that was like my main resource for studying. From the old years I was told to look at my GCSE notes because science not like content was mostly GCSE stuff and mm -hmm. for me I took AS physics so I could kind of use that for my revision whereas people who don't take physics they might want to look back at like the equations and stuff. So yeah that's the second section and the last section is a writing task. Is it 30 minutes? Uh, I think I think so, I have no idea. Yeah, you have to write a short essay within 30 minutes. So they give you three different options to choose yeah. from. And you have to like have an introduction, have like a for and against, and then a conclusion. And the 30 minutes go by so, so quickly. Yeah. So like yeah, you're yeah. literally just sitting there like trying to quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the three sections. Do you want to go through how it's scored? It's out of nine for yeah, yeah. Um, section A and B mm -hmm. and for the essay you're graded on your English profic proficiency as well as your content yeah, which yeah. is out of five and then your English proficiency is out of eight like yeah. the letters. Uh, note of like warning, don't expect to like get nine. Oh yeah, <laughs> like, yeah You guys sure. are probably used to getting like over 90% in your exams and stuff but mm. the BMAT, you need to prepare to get yeah. Low scores, but that doesn't mean it's bad. It's just <laughs> it's a very hard test. Like these yeah. assessments aren't easy. So I think the average for one or two is is like five, around five ish, five? or like low fives. Look, I uh, got low. <laughs> huh? no, I got lower than that. Sorry. Oh, I mean, no, but the thing is, like, like I think one important thing about the BMAT is that it's yeah, you don't need to get nine or anything. Like average is good, mm. and um, for universities like I think Imperial, they just look at your score and if they if you meet like their cutoff then they look at your other things like your personal statement so yeah so i feel like the averages change every year yes. so yeah. basically when i got my scores i basically broke down crying because i thought i did <laughs> really really crap oh, okay <laughs> and uh, my first section was really bad like it was threes like oh, it really? was really really oh. bad and then my science was like 5 or 4.8, something mm -hmm. like that. And my essay was 3.8, so it was like solid. Oh, but when eight, I eight, saw eight, my eight. first uh -huh. section score, I literally just broke down. Oh, and I was like, I'm not going to get uh -huh. to any uni. But then oh. when I saw the distribution graph, it was like two like curves, wasn't it? In yeah, the, kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just really weird. Yeah. So yeah, don't give up too easily. <laughs> That's my advice. And one important thing is, is that the BMAT is only taken in one admission cycle. Yes. So you can't retake it in the same year. You have to wait the following year if you don't manage to get a place. Okay, so how did we prepare? Do you want to start off with like how you got to find out about it and then 
what you did to prepare. Uh, Wait, can I just check if it's recording? Yeah. So how did I find out about it? Well, I mean, if you want to apply to universities like Imperial, then you sort of have to take the BMAT. Mm. In terms of preparation, like I mentioned, uh, they have the what do you call it again? Specification. Specification. And for me, I didn't actually. I took the IB, so I didn't learn physics. Oh, I learned. Okay. Um, I took biology and chemistry higher level, so I had to teach myself physics. Oh my goodness. Um, looking at the specifications, but it's not too bad. Yeah. And then there are a bunch of other like books um, and like online resources as well, I think. I've got a list here. So I used, um, I'll put a picture of it on the screen, but I used the Ultimate BMAT Guide 800 Practice Questions. Exactly, yeah. It's like a red thick textbook and that helped me so, so much. I remember in my yeah. school, everyone who was applying to medicine oh, really? had those and, like, in okay. the study room. All of us would be like, have the open and study. And I also, use some of the ISC Medical 700 question BMAT book mm -hmm. and I'll put a link to these down below as well. And for me, I think, we're going to talk about the dates later, but I took the late BMAT. So this is oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Because I applied to Oxford and they only accept students who do the late BMAT. The late BMAT? Yeah, really? so you can't do the early one. Oh, okay. So for me, I had to space out my preparation, do the UK CAT in the summer, and come back to school and then prepare for the BMAT whilst doing the whole um, uh -huh. UCAS process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, I'm the type of person who doesn't like to do things last minute. Uh -huh. So I like just started from like the first day of um, year 13. Like, yeah. like kind of like uh -huh. doing small, small uh -huh. yeah, uh -huh. a little uh -huh. bit at a time. So some okay. people, they do it within like two, three weeks. But for me, I can't do that. Oh, okay. Right. So I just did a little bit at a time, and for me, I was freaking about um, the essay. Oh, okay. That's so it. I like practiced a lot on that. In the beginning, I just went through the questions and then saw the solutions, mm -hmm. and then after I did that, I then did the questions under time conditions with my phone. Oh, right. Okay. And yeah. then after That's that, I tried to see like my weak points, and then mm -hmm. just focused on them. So yeah, how long did you did it take for you to prepare? Uh, for me, yeah, I just realized I took the late BMAT as well because yeah, yeah, yeah. I took the U UK CAT as mm -hmm. well. Over the summer, I took um, I, I prepared for the UCAT, so I devoted my whole like 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 a month mm -hmm. to studying the UCAT, and then for the BMAT as well. This was during school for me. Um, with the IB, you have things like uh, internal assessments as well as um, the homework you get in class and stuff like that. But for me, I'm I'm the type of person to sort of devote. Um, all my time and effort into one thing because mm -hmm. I feel like instead of just doing bit by bit if I just focus all my energy and time into it then you know, the results will be better so I, I took about like three weeks okay that's like good yeah month. yeah I feel like you do reach a peak where you do really well and yeah. then once you go over that peak you start doing really bad so you're like don't mm -hmm. overwork yourself but yeah, I think that's sure. my main point yeah, yeah. Okay, so next question is what are your like overall like general tips? General tips? Yeah. The BMAT. Like it doesn't have to be like BMAT specific because for example, let's say for me, um, I wrote my personal statement draft yep. in the summer so that when I started school, I didn't have to worry about that as much so I could focus on my BMAT. Uh, that was me. First tip I think is um, this only applies for interviews that um, aren't MMI. Okay. Um, I'd say remember what you wrote in the BMAT. Didn't you apply for UCL? Yeah, so yeah. I applied for UCL and they asked me about my BMAT essay. Mm -hmm. But after I took the BMAT, I actually messaged my friend about what I wrote. Okay. So I used that, I went back to that before my interview. Uh, and then I idea. prepared, yeah, so um, I think like, yeah, I read, I actually like read a book that was related to my BMAT question. Mm -hmm. And then at the interview, I talked about how I would have answered um, that question sort of differently. So, do you remember the topic? Yeah. Book? Um, Just like a brief outline. I think it was about like medicine or drugs or, or something. Okay. But then remember, I bought a book that's that's on like it's pretty long. Um, Polypharmacy induced iatrogenic diseases. The book's by James Lefanu anyway, and I think the interviewers liked how I used that in my. So, did they ask a lot about your B medicine? Because I know some of my friends they didn't ask like at all. But then right. I think they do actually ask. Yeah. Um, Actually, no, I think so. The people who applied this year and from now on, mm -hmm. UCL, they're not going to ask about the essay. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. So just look up your, <laughs> just look up the prospectus of yes. like the different unis you're applying to and make sure you like know fully what they want from you, mm -hmm. especially the BMAT. Should we talk about the dates now? Uh, yeah, because the, if you're like, um, 
early. In Malaysia, there's a separate like yeah yeah system. So I know in Malaysia you have two dates to take the BMAT. Um, you have the early and the late one. Mm -hmm. So the early BMAT is taken, I think, maybe around the summertime. Mm -hmm. But it allows you to uh, know your result before applying yeah, yeah. to university. But the um, the thing about taking that BMAT is it sort of collides with the um, dates for the UK CAT. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I took the late. Yeah, BMAT. if you if you think you can manage all that stress, <laughs> yeah. then yeah, go for it. And like. Um, I think the good thing about doing the early BMAT, I didn't do it, but my friends, they could apply to like, let's say three or four BMAT unis. Mm. Whereas for me, I had to risk, like not take the risk of doing that. I had to put two BMAT and then two UK CATs. Right. So that I could have the right balance, yeah. yeah. So in the UK as well, we have the early BMATs late August and the results come out September um, before you apply, like, officially apply for med school mm -hmm. and then we have the late BMAT which is late October and you get results in November um, so I took the October one and that was in my school because there were quite a few people I think like more than 30 people in my school oh, wow. to apply to medicine yeah. really? so we like our school was like one of the centers of the BMAT where do you do yours? Uh, yeah so for for me I we have like our admissions test like center yeah so like I actually took my took the BMAT with like all the other people that wanted to apply to like Cambridge and Oxford. Mm -hmm. So they had their own like math tests. Oh right, and, yeah, yeah, we had that. Actually. Yeah, so they have this center in Malaysia. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I took it there. Um, what what unis did you apply to again? I applied to UCL, um, Imperial, Sheffield, Queen Mary, and Kingsford um, Biomed. Mm -hmm. But the reason why I took the late BMAT is because um, my dad told me that he'd only send me to the UK for med school if I got into Imperial or UCL. All right. So for me, it was kind of like an all or nothing situation. Yeah. So it wouldn't really matter if I um, took the so, early one or the late one. Yeah. Oh then why did you do the UK cut then? Um, good point. You I don't know. Just, you could have just like, I don't uh, know, done, just done BMAT unis. Yeah. And just focus on the BMAT. Yeah, I don't but, know, that's just like, no, but like at the same time, like I, I applied to Queen Mary and my dad thought Queen Mary was good. So like, oh, okay, fair yeah. Enough. Yeah. So I applied to Oxford's Imperial, Bristol, Queen Mary's and then UCL Pharmacy. So I only really did the BMAT for Oxford and Imperial. Mm. But Oxford, they, they accept less people for interviews. Yeah. Whereas Cambridge, they accept more people for mm -hmm. interviews and then they like reject a ton. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I was one of those people for Oxford who got rejected before interviews oh. um, because they also focus on GCSEs and the BMAT school. So they don't look at your parcel statement or anything, oh, your yeah. A-levels. Like none of that. Oh well. So after I like had a breakdown when I got my results, oh. the next year I got the rejection email. But Imperial, they look at your BMAT and that personal statement. That's a statement. Yeah. Yeah. So it really depends on the uni you apply to. Mm -hmm. um, so do double check on that so you can play to your strength. Because like Queen Mary's, I think I got an interview had quite a lot of UCAS points. Oh. And, like okay. music. Right. And like. DOB and stuff uh -huh. like that because I had quite a few like extracurricular activities that could count towards my application because mm -hmm. I think they really stressed on Oh really? That, yeah. yeah for me I didn't get an interview for Queen Mary but I think the main reason was because my UK CAT score was low Yeah I just got a meh, a meh score right. <laughs> so I'm like my extracurricular activities helped me to yeah Okay so um, is there anything else you want to oh actually no wait I want to mention just in case some dentist um, dentistry schools such as Lee's they also require the BMAT, but I think most of the rest they just use UK cap. So. Oh yeah, and um, one thing to mention is section A of the BMAT mm -hmm. is actually quite similar to the UK cap. I thought like it's that sort oh, yeah. of same what, problem what solving thing. Uh, okay, I, I, I can't remember, but we'll do a separate um, video on the UK cap. If mm -hmm. you're happy, sure. To do it, yeah, yeah, I don't mind. I know this is a very short like video on the BMAT, but I hope this was really useful to people who are applying to a med school in the UK, especially if you guys are from abroad, like Taeyong. Yes. Um, and those people from Korea. So if you have any other suggestions or if you want any more tips, please tell me. Leave a comment down below. That's such a YouTube phrase. Yeah. <laughs> and in the future, I'll put up. We'll work on some more videos. Um, on like interviews, UK cats, etc. So thank you for watching. Um, we'll see you guys next time. <laughs> bye bye. bye.